Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiandra, and yes, we are going to get right into it. Love and Hip Hop Hollywood Season 2 Episode 10. Yeah, I think we're on 10. <laughs> so let's get into it. Let's start out with the whole Fizz, um, Nikki Baby, um, situation. He has this song called Good, Good Lotion, Good Lotion. <laughs> Like, why he got to rub his hands together like that? I don't know, y'all. Yeah. He has a song called Good Lotion, and he said he automatically thought of Nikki Baby, and he wants Nikki Baby to go ahead and be the leading lady in the video. And she's like, oh, boo-boo, thank you so much. I am flattered, but I can't do it. I got other things I got to take care of, like this fashion show and all this stuff like that, all my other businesses. So he's like, well, what you mean, girl? Like, I wanted you to be the leading lady. When I think of good lotion and me rubbing that good lo that good, good lotion on your body, I want you to be that person. I'm in a video doing that, too. And she's like, I'm sorry. I can't. So as they're talking, they're having a little conversation. He looks over to the left, and sure enough, he sees Willie's wife, on the damn pole like I told y'all she was ready to get on that pole and he was like I don't even want to watch like I don't I don't want to watch I don't want to watch I'm gonna try not to watch <laughs> like fool you know you want to see that so he's like okay I'm just gonna leave that be and let that go okay if you can't do it then that's fine and him and Monice they are on a up and up and they're raising their child and she's more in the, um their child's life Fizz would like for them to have some type of schedule. And she's like, okay, well, we can do that one-off, you know, one-on weekends thing. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's cool. And he's like, and also, you said something about your boyfriend? Mm-hmm, yeah. I need to meet him. Whoever's going to be around my son, I need to know who he is. And from what I saw on the internet about your boyfriend, I just have a couple of questions. And she's like, well, you know, okay, we're going to figure it out. And, you know, I understand. And he will be a part of my life, you know, so he will be a part of Cameron's life. So I 100% I agree, you know, that y'all should sit down and talk. So she goes back to um, Richie Dollars. And he's like, whoa, 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 okay, wait, hold on. So he wants to meet me because he heard some stuff about me from the internet. Your mama wants to meet me because you're, listen, I'm doing a lot of jumping through hurdles, you know, crossing valleys and oceans and crap to prove to you that I'm actually here with you and I want to be with you. When I ain't asking you to do a god dang on thing. And I feel like it's unfair, you know, but what I am not going to do is I'm not going to have somebody interrogate me and talk to me any type of way, especially as no grown man, because I'm going to go in and I'm about those hands and I'm going to whoop his ass, <laughs> basically. And she's like, listen, I don't know what you're talking about. Baby daddy's going to always be in the picture. I don't care what he says to you or what he does to you because if you don't remain calm, this relationship is over. He's like, really? All right, I'm going to play basketball. I, 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 don't, <laughs> I don't have time for this bullshit. I'm going to play basketball. And that's how that went. So fast forward, Fizz and Rich Dollars actually meet and come to find out, long story short, He's like, you know what? I'm not about that. What you see in, um, what you see all in the, um, internet and all that kind of stuff on tabloids and social media, that's not me. You know, I'm not trying to be your son's daddy, but you know what? If the little dude about the, you know, long as he is not in no type of harm's way, I could be Uncle Rich to him. I don't have to be his daddy. I'm not trying to do any of that. You know, that's your role. That's your responsibility. I'm just here to make sure he don't kill himself and just to have a good time with him. So I'm not trying to step on your toes. I totally get it. And we good. So they, I mean, I was so happy they kind of you know went on a positive note they shook hands they, they they chatted it up they had them some drinks um and that was that so that was perfect let's go ahead on and talk quickly about omarion and april like i said you know their whole storyline is real dry no shade i mean i mean it is um but she april is basically just letting wanted to know if she is she forgotten like i didn't know april can sing i don't know if y'all knew april can sing but apparently she can sing and i would love to hear her even on instagram because i follow her on instagram or somewhere um if to hear her like a little bit of pipes but you know as of right now amoria has a lot of success he has a couple of singles out right now and they're doing really well so she's just kind of like in the background being a support system which she doesn't have a problem with but she's kind of like yo are you forgetting about me like I was an artist too. I stopped my career so that we can focus on yours. And then I had the baby. So I just want to make sure that 
you're not going to forget about me that we're going to still work on, on my stuff whenever we get a chance. He's like, yeah, you know, just work on your craft. You could be singing in the shower, you know, doing a little me, me, me while you're cooking breakfast. Work on your craft. And whenever the opportunity presents itself, we're going to work on you and it's going to be all about you. But as of right now, it's my time to shine. That's basically what he was saying. It's my time. So chill out. Quickly, Miles and Milan. So Miles finally got in contact with Milan. And he basically had like this little setup in front of the beach. And um, it was really cute and romantic. And Milan came. And of course, he already know that he told Amber. But he's just playing along. So he's like, yeah, so, you know, what, what's up? And he's like, well, you know, I've been calling you and I've been trying to get in contact with you. I basically told my family and I told Amber. He's like, oh, really? Why did you let me know I could have been there for you? He's like, fool, I called you. Like, I called you. Well, if I would have known what you was calling me about, then I could have been there for you. Like, I've always been there for you. So long story short, he was like, listen, it was a crazy experience. I had to tell her, she threatened to tell my whole family. So I had to go ahead and tell her, tell, tell my sisters and them before she did. It was a big crying fest, but they all want to meet you. And I'm sorry, you were right. I should have been more honest and upfront and blah, blah, blah. They hugged it out and they kissed it out. And then that was that. So he is going to meet the fam bam. So I'm excited to kind of see how those sisters are going to react to um, Milan. Milan is cute. Both of them are really cute. So um, I'm, I'm excited to see how that's going to react or how they're going to react to them. So let's go ahead and take Milan and travel him over to the whole drama with um, Hazel E, Tierra Marie, Nikki Baby, and Princess. So Tierra Marie... It's coming to the, the the fitting, the dress fitting. Everybody has their pieces. Everybody has their models. Everybody's making measurements just to kind of tweak and, you know, adjust some things for later so that they can have it all ready for the fashion show. And Tiara Marie comes in with fitting papers. She comes with the, the transparent dress papers that you cut out to make your pieces. Like, she don't have nothing ready, half ass ready. Nothing is completed. Nothing. Not even half. Nothing is completed. And I'm just like, oh my God. So she's coming with these little pieces of paper and they're looking like, okay, it's almost time. Oh, and we all got our pieces and our models going. She, well, no, I just came to, you know, use this. Yeah, I was going to just take these pieces and, and use it with the model and then make them when I get back home later. Like, girl, no. No. No, we're not doing that. We need these pieces done now. So, they're having a conversation and all of a sudden there's some beefs. Hazel E goes and tells um, Tierra Marie that hey I'm gonna have Milan in here as well. I want him with his line, his underwear line look pretty nice to have his little little eye candy in there. She's like mm hmm yeah girl mm -hmm, I like that idea girl. She was fine with Milan and his people. I just want to make sure we have enough people and enough you know product and you know things to show at the fashion show that I'm also have princess in. She's princess comes up and she's just like oh what the hell like you're supposed to be my friend and why do you have princess in it? And she was real and you know I was real shocked because she was very respectful. She was very respectful um to princess and she was like you know your pieces look real nice but you know i didn't know you was gonna be in this fashion show like i thought it was just gonna be me and nikki baby and now this is in the mix and you're in the mix and i'm not cool with that plus you're supposed to be my girl like why are you taking uh, an event that me and nikki baby supposed to have and you inviting all these extra people and like that crap's not cool so basically that was hazel e's entrance to act a damn fool all the shit and crap she'd been wanting to say to tiara marie since season one with that whole that whole young bird situation all that backstabbing that she felt tiara marie was doing with her and all that this was her opportunity to finally express herself okay she'd been you could tell her ass been writing that crap down in a book in her personal journal to wait for this particular opportunity right now to express herself to this girl in front of all these people and of course us so she did that she when i tell you she went and she read her up and down left and right she did she called her a hoe she told her this she called her that she said she was disrespectful she not loyal she went in and then of course milan trying to get in between the two you know just in case something pop off 
child. She was making all this noise for no apparent reason. She just wanted to have her time to express herself and really basically say, you know what? I ain't feeling you. I don't care. We did cross over that bridge. I still remember that bridge and I'm pissed off about that bridge. So I'm about to let everybody know that you ain't loyal. I ain't feeling you. And you know what? The show must go on. I need to make sure I have all these people in place because we don't know what you're doing with this paper. We don't know what you're doing. <laughs> it was just, it was just so much. So Tiara Marie wind up leaving. She wind up um, Milan wind up walking her out, and she's like, you know, I hope you die, which is wrong. She shouldn't have said that. Um, <laughs> and I hope your nose collapsed, and I was there for you. But you know what? Whatever. Get out of my face. F you. Blah blah blah. Cha. I live for it. I ain't gonna lie. I live for it. And even and it even seemed like. Okay, Princess was saying a couple of things as well. And then Nikki Baby was kind of chiming in and taking up for H Hazel E's side as well. I don't know what was going on. I don't know, Chad. I don't know if they're all not friends no more. If them three not ganged up on Tierra Marie, I'm not certain. But it was crazy. Last but not least, let's talk about Willie. Willie can sing his behind off. And I love that song. I absolutely love that song that he sung on stage. So he was ready to go on stage. Screwface set him up some stuff just so he can kind of practice and get himself back out there um so that he could sing in front of this audience and they he actually invited nikki baby and lil fizz so when his wife and them came she didn't realize like oh shoot like okay he inviting basically my boss and i haven't told this man that i am on the pole that i'm stripping now he don't know so if, if, if i was her once i found that out that probably wouldn't have been a perfect time for me to pull my man to the side and say, hey, this is what's going on. My bad. Have a good performance. You know, like, I'm here for you. But no, she let it ride. And I think she was hoping that she just wouldn't have said anything. But sure enough, in Nikki Baby fashion, she was like, oh, yeah, girl. Oh, yeah, your, oh, your wife. Oh, I don't have to worry about your wife. Your wife entertains me enough, honey. And Fizz was like, oh, Lord. And then he was like, what, what you talking about? And she was like, you know, your wife, she, you know, she works for me. She, you know, she strips and all this. And Fizz was like, girl, be quiet. Like, <laughs> be quiet. And I'm saying the same thing. You see his face. So why are you still talking about it? So the wife was kind of like, okay oh shoot she actually said something about it so now I'm, I'm and so then they started fussing so then she's blaming him like you lied to me and you said this and that wasn't the case so he's like well i'm out now and i don't care and I, you said this and i so i went back and i need to take care of my kids and make sure we good and and he's like you know what if you're gonna do that if you want strip then you need to get out and he she's like she pushed him out the way so then this boy has to perform he has to go ahead and perform in front of all these people and this is still on his heart that you know this that he just found this information out so afterwards she's outside she's crying all her makeup is running off her face and she's like i'm sorry and then they kind of talk and he's like listen i don't need you to go back to that that hurt me when you was doing that back in the day that hurt me and i would never want you to be in to have to be in that predicament ever again let me be out there in the streets let me do what i need to do hustle whatever the case may be but not you not that so they wind up hugging and kissing and then they were done and they're back on it so like i said he's out of the contract he's now with screw faces that's his manager and now he's making big moves so i'm happy for that and i'm happy that they finally you know put all that aside she's off the pole and everybody's happy <laughs> like i don't know you guys tell me what your favorite part of the episode was down below don't forget to thumbs up share this video and please subscribe i greatly appreciate that all right guys i love y'all i love y'all i love y'all i love y'all and until next time peace later